I wanted to share a quick video of my modified Harbor Freight 1500 pound trifold ATV ramp. I've modified this for use to load motorcycles. Um, the reason I've had to modify it is because trying to use it to load bikes is fine, except for the spacing between the crossbars is pretty wide and uh, your foot could possibly go through it. So a little sketchy. So I made some modifications to the ramp. Uh, what you'll see is that I've added grip tape and some very thin five mil sheeting plywood. Uh, attach that with some simple bolts that are connected on the underside. And pull it out here. And what you'll be able to see is that with this thing pulled out and enabled, I load my bikes on the right hand side and I walk up the left. And you can see I'm out of the grip tape, so you can see that. And that gives me a lot of confidence in what I'm doing to load the bikes. Overall, it costs 20 bucks and it's worth every penny. Now, the reason I have the ramp the way I do is so that I can load the bike myself uh, in situations where I don't have anyone to help me. So here you can see now that I have it up in the truck, I'm able to uh, go ahead and start ratchet strapping this thing down. I have the soft ties for my bike and um, it's just a one-handed operation, kind of a pain to do, but it's doable by yourself, which makes it really great for um, those trips that you want to take. Uh, for me, I'm at my camp right now and didn't have another adult with me, but I was still able to bring my bike, which is pretty nice. So I'll get this thing strapped up and I'll show what goes on from there. All right, so I have the bike all tied up here. Everything done. Nice and tight, suspension is loaded. Everything is good to go. And the nice thing about this ramp is it folds up. So I can fold it up and then just slide it into the head here without any problem. And this is a Tacoma with a 6.1 foot bed. And what I have here is a Yamaha WR250X. Supermoto, and you can see that the bike fits mostly, but not quite. So I can't put the tailgate up all the way, but this fits nicely. And then to keep it secure while I'm traveling, uh, basically I just can latch into my corner here. Uh, you know, there's a million different ways to do it. I have these eye bolts up here as well. Uh, but I just use the chain to latch and secure so that it doesn't fall out. But I also have a bed mat here as well, which is anti-skid, which um, this thing really doesn't move anyway. But if you don't have that, you'll definitely want to secure the ramp if you have to leave the tailgate down. I had to get two hands loose there, but here you can see that I've tied the chain up here to one of my tie down and here to my permanent hoop as well. So it's now secured in two ways. And uh, again, with the bed mat, it shouldn't really go anywhere. So here's the final product I'll put away. And we had a successful time at camp, put some miles on the bike, and now I'm ready to safely take it home. Thanks for watching.